Hey guys, welcome to another episode of PV Garage. In today's episode, I'm going to be testing my cooling system on my 2.7 uh, build. I'm going to use the airlift kit. I'm going to do a vacuum test on it, and then I'm going to fill it um, using this kit I got off Amazon. It's called the Airlift 550000. <laughs> Seems to get good reviews, so we're going to give it a shot. So the first thing it asks you to do is to take this Venturi and uh, put a, an adapter to your uh, compressed air system. So I've done that already. I've just threaded it in and that's ready to go. Um, now we're gonna go to the car and we're gonna select the right rubber adapter to my cooling tank. So this is kind of the heart of the assembly. It's the pressure gauge um, or vacuum gauge. Uh, you've got a valve and the adapter to your coolant reservoir. Um, there's a few rubber adapters that it comes with because this doesn't fit uh, nice and snug in, in this uh, reservoir as it is. So we've got to select the right adapter and um, I think it was, no, I may have left it on the workbench. Hang on. So in my case, it's this one, it's the smallest one. And basically what you do is you slide it over top of the rubber piece that's on the base of this assembly and you place it inside. Now it's still a bit loose, so you can tighten down this fitting and it will expand that rubber adapter so that it fits nice and tight. There we go. Now we've got a good seal and we're ready to put some vacuum to this. Okay, the next step is to take our Venturi and connect it to this assembly. I'm gonna turn it around. There we go, we're all connected. So this just goes to, to atmosphere. We're gonna apply shop air to here and there's a Venturi here. Um, so the air passes through and draws a vacuum on the uh, system. Um, so once I connect this to um, the Venturi, you're gonna hear a whoosh of air and the vacuum is gonna start to be created in the system. And then what I'm gonna do is shut off the valve and just watch to make sure that the vacuum doesn't, uh, doesn't get lost over about 20 seconds. It's encouraging to see that the vacuum isn't being lost. It means there's no leaks in the system. Um, it's dropping ever so slightly, but I'm not too concerned about that. It, uh, you know, they expect you to hold the vacuum for about 20 seconds and then just release the pressure on the, um, on the valve here. Yeah, sitting there steady, right at 24. One thing to note is my upper rad hose has collapsed. That's normal because you're drawing a vacuum on the system. That'll return to size once you take off the vacuum. So let's do that now. So the rad hose is returned to size. The vacuum is off. Now, if we're gonna fill the system right away, we would just leave the vacuum on there and switch the fittings, but I just wanna do a vacuum test on the system first and just show you how everything worked. So we'll go and do the, uh, the system fill now. So I went to the store, I got some deionized water. I've got my coolant on the side here. I'm gonna have to pull another vacuum on the system and then I'm gonna swap out the Venturi for uh, the adapter that is used for, oops, sorry, that is used for filling the system. So. Let's go ahead and draw another vacuum on this. There we go. So that's holding steady at 24. We can take off our Venturi, put that to the side. All right, so to fill this, our valve is off. We're gonna shut off this valve as well make the connection. So I'm gonna put this in the bottom of the coolant. Um, I'm gonna open this and then open this one and that should draw in coolant into the system. Let's give this a go. I see some people filling this line with coolant first but it um, doesn't specify that in the instructions so I'm just gonna do it like this. Goes. Now watch the the level on your on your jug. When that starts to get low, 
I'm gonna shut the valve and swap into my other jug. Okay, I'm gonna stop it there. And then I'll continue. So it says the system is full when you reach zero vacuum. So, you know, it's reduced quite a bit. It's about halfway now. And my second jug is almost empty already. It wasn't as full as the other one, but we're almost at the end anyway. So I'm gonna stop there. What I'm gonna do is just put the bottom of this into this one. I'm actually gonna make another bucket because I think I'm getting pretty low. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna finish this and then I'll just top up the reservoir at the end. Oh. All right, well, my, um, my screen at the end of the uh, hose came out of the coolant a little bit, so I lost some vacuum there. Let's see if it pulls any more in. No, it's not gonna pull any out. All right, so that's it. Now I think we can top up the reservoir uh, the normal way. So I'm gonna shut this. Disconnect this. Just open that to let the coolant come out. Okay, so now I'm gonna open this. The rest of the vacuum comes off. Take our adapter off. And that's it, our coolant system is full.